Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Sister Schubert's cinnamon rolls. You bake and serve. They're made with real cinnamon. They are, uh, it's a 16 ounce package. There's no preservatives, no artificial flavors. They were $4.99 at Kroger and these are in the area where the regular Sister Schubert rolls are, like the dinner rolls and stuff like that. That's where these are as well. So what you want to do, it says we recommend you bake just in a conventional oven. That's what we're going to do. It says if you have time to thaw, then um, allow rolls to thaw completely in the plastic bag. Uh, preheat oven to 375. Remove plastic bag and icing packet. Uh, place cinnamon rolls on middle middle rack of oven. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes or until desired browning has occurred on top on top and bottom. Mine have been in the freezer. So it says if you are preparing from frozen, you preheat to 375 again, remove the plastic bag and icing packet. You cover it loosely with aluminum foil. Uh, place cinnamon rolls on middle rack of oven and bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Remove foil and bake an additional five to 10 minutes or until desired browning has occurred on top and bottom. Um, it says if you're preparing from a microwave oven, do not place bag or aluminum pan in microwave. You remove the re rolls from the pan and place on microwave safe plate. Set aside icing packet microwave rolls on high for one and a half to two minutes or until center is warm. So, um, let's see. They're really easy to open. Just have a little thing like a piece of, like a loaf of bread. Little twisties, what we call them. So this is how they look. And so just so you're wondering um, how easy are they to remove if you're going to microwave them, they're very easy. Because look, they don't stick at all. So that whole thing would come out of there if you wanted it to. So I have some foil here. I am just going to tuck it on two sides and kind of leave it sticking up on the other two. I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes and we'll be back. So these have been in for 20 minutes. I'm going to take the foil off and you can put them in for an additional uh, five to 10 minutes. I think I'm going to put them in for 10 minutes and see how well they do and we'll be back. Okay, they were in for an additional 10 minutes. There's a little uh, cut here and so you don't need scissors. Just pull that out and then you want to add your icing while these are hot. I could probably fight to get more out of there, but I'm not worried about it. That looks like a really good amount. So, um, I'll show you how easy they come out of here. Sister Schubert rolls, they, they never stick to the pan or anything like that. And they always come out uh, very, very easily. So, you just, just stick a fork in it like this. And that's it. And that is how it looks on the inside. Okay, we didn't talk about calories at all. Um... It says, okay, here we go. Eight servings per container, two rolls. So there should be 16 rolls in the pan. Two rolls, 56 grams, or 210 calories. And of course, that's going to be dependent a little bit here or there for the, your icing, however much you put on your one piece. Right. You know, if you squeeze the whole thing on one piece, it's not still going to be 210 calories for two. So... Although I like the way your mind works if you're thinking that way. <laughs> so I could probably just pick this up. I was worried it would be sticky. That's why I got us a fork. Some pieces have more cinnamon than others. Like this piece, there's hardly any cinnamon on that at all. Right. But then again, you get this piece, and it's full of cinnamon. So, so your depends. experience is different. So it depends on where you get it from in the pan. Mm. I tell you what though, I got a piece that just had all that cinnamon, mm -hmm. and it's still not really strong cinnamon. Mm -mm. Not like the 
Uh, what's one of the brands you buy in the tube? Like a Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Yeah, those are much stronger uh, cinnamon flavor. Uh huh. I like these. I think they're convenient that they're in the pan and you can heat them up. Um, if you know you're going to make them, uh, it's 10 times easier just to put them in the refrigerator. I've had mine frozen, so of course I had to have it and it took longer and all that. It's an overall easy experience if you, when you bring them home from the store, if you know you're going to have them uh, right then or the next day, put them in the refrigerator and then you don't have to fool with all that other stuff. And it's a shorter time. Um, I agree with Kevin though. We love the Sister Schubert's brand. Mm -hmm. I love their Parker House Rolls. Um, I love... Um, I, I love the single rolls and then the ones in the pan. Um, but these, I would rather have the Pillsbury brand because I do think they're stronger. You get a stronger cinnamon flavor. You get more cinnamon. These, there is a touch of cinnamon, a sprinkling of cinnamon, but it's not enough for me, it's not what I want. I want right. something stronger. Yeah, if you don't like cinnamon a lot, but you want like a little touch of cinnamon, mm -hmm. you might love these. Uh -huh. But for me, I, I'd really have a stronger cinnamon flavor. Now, these are more like a sweet roll that have mm -hmm. been dusted with cinnamon. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not enough cinnamon. Yeah. So, they're good quality. Yeah, well, they're excellent. They're, they're, yes, they're very good quality. I love it that they're in the pan. Um, if you buy them, I think you're gonna be happy with the quality. But if you have if you are used to buying the cinnamon rolls that come in the roll, then these aren't going to do it for you. No, yeah. A little lacking. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.